seven-year-old A.J. Wongbo's Seattle home, it's a day to celebrate. This party, featuring A.J.'s favorite foods and favorite people, is a thank you to all of those who were there for A.J. and his family a year ago when he became very sick. I just remember my wife saying, Andrew, get the car. Like, something's not right. They took A.J. to Seattle Children's, where they learned a virus had attacked his heart. A.J.'s heart was barely pumping and was so inflamed, it filled half of his chest cavity. We were able to, within a day, figure out that his heart was getting worse and that it couldn't circulate the blood through his body. So organs were already shutting down. Um, and they had the solution, which was a VAD. Doctors suggested this ventricular assist device, or VAD, for AJ. It helped my heart uh, heal and it pumped blood for me. That's exactly right. The Centromag pump allowed AJ's heart to rest and heal. The way this works is the blood is taken from the patient through here and propelled out this direction. By using this pump, we can support either half of the heart or the entire heart. AJ was sedated for 12 days while the VAD did its job. Definitely this device, the VAD, was something that we had not heard of before. And it was a lot to swallow and to process, but saved his life. The Seattle Children's Heart Center team has a variety of VADs from which to choose, depending on a child's age, size, and condition. The team also has extensive experience and expertise in using VADs for children with heart failure. Sometimes we're supporting kids just to allow their heart to rest and get better, and those would be temporary devices. Sometimes we're um, uh, uh, giving support to the heart to allow us to make a decision about what comes next, and that could be wean and recovery, or it could be progress to transplantation. Um, and then we have long-term devices that you can have implanted and even go home with the expectation that that could be several months to years of support, either toward transplantation or sometimes even as an end into a, in and of itself. For AJ, this one was just what he needed. And we use this pump to take care of someone who has acute heart failure and in a patient who we think the heart function will recover within a few days or weeks. AJ has recovered. His heart was able to heal as it rested. He is back to most of his regular activities and still takes a little medicine. How about your medicine, AJ? How's the medicine? Tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's much better, right? We used to take it three times a day. Now we're down to two times a day. And we're down to two meds. Where's AJ? Let's go find AJ. One year out, the memories of AJ's rough time are beginning to fade, just like his scar. AJ's parents have recovered from the ordeal, too. They learned a lot in that short and frightening time. When I look back on that time, it was scary. I mean, it, this isn't something, obviously, you, do, uh, you run into. Um, but I think we trusted that the doctors uh, obviously knew what they're doing, but provided us with enough information and uh, essentially the statement about this is what we would do, this is what we recommend. And uh, we knew that they had the, um, AJ's best interest. Mm -hmm. And although it was scary, we took that uh, step um, and uh, we're grateful. Do you want a piece of cake? So much for which to be grateful, so much to celebrate. Thank you. Yes, every morning we wake up and we are just so thankful and grateful that we have a new day.